Deep in a New York performance studio, a man is sending 3.7 volts through his eyelids. Honestly, like the electromechanical happening that you can create just by blinking your eyes, it's pretty awesome. One, two, three. Yes! Each year, um, each of us loses approximately 192 hours of uh, sight time every, every year uh, to blinking. Andrew Snyder is an actor turned electronic tinkerer, a do-it-yourself performer. While many of his performance devices may cast an eye on himself, they also tap into a greater societal identity crisis he tries to observe by performing for others using electronic contraptions he builds himself. Here, a modified Polaroid that takes a picture when he blinks his eyes. Schneider is a graduate of New York University's Interactive Telecommunications Program, which brands itself a center for the recently possible. As a working performer, Schneider has pushed the boundaries of communication and self-reflection, even installing a giant projection of himself above a building. He's also at the forefront of a philosophical quest on the part of the do-it-yourself or DIY community, using emerging tools of our time to explore who we are, our ideas, and how we connect. Through his creation, Snyder is putting technology to work in his art, but more so in his career as a performer. <laughs> He's made wearable gloves and shoes that trigger sound loops. The shoes change the speed of the music according to how high the shoe is off the ground. Basically, the higher your foot is off the ground, the faster the track plays. There's also a track selection with the head. If you do a head jerk, you switch the track up. Another of his performance devices is a two-person game. Two faces, two mouths, two cameras. The Prolixus, yes, is a pair of video helmets that allow you to speak for someone else. What if you had the ability to say things that you were too nervous or scared to say in real life? What if you could have a device that would say them for you? Everyone would enunciate a lot more and, and they would try to make, you know, they would make faces where they would no normally maybe not make faces. Everyone felt like some sort of sense of empowerment. Someone said our, our final destination is speed. Um, so I think in the future it's gonna be very hard, it's, it's gonna be very hard to predict where anything is going to go. And I hope that our generation or the people who are doing this now are doing it for good purposes. There's always going to be something else in there that I'm, that I'm going to try to do to break down that wall between audience and, and performer. As Andrew Schneider takes a close look at himself by using technology to enhance his performance, he's also examining his audience here, passers-by on the street as he takes a bus trip from Soho to the Bronx. A simple trip and a simple observation by one teched-out performer that how we see changes what we see.